let's make some toys. We have different cutouts, different shapes. Once I'd chosen one, I want veneer core plywood or MDF. Veneer core plywood works best for the wheels though, so if you use MDF, use it only for the main portion, the body of it. The templates are kept in these red and blue containers. When you go through them, you just choose the one you want. And that's the one I'm going to trace. And I'll go ahead and make it out of both materials so you can see them both at work. I'm going to trace this right here. I only need one piece for this. And there's some holes here I gotta make sure to mark for the axles. Okay. The wheels we don't need to trace. If you're in seventh or eighth grade, you can use the bandsaw to cut this out, or you can get me to do it for you. I'm just going to cut it out with a scroll saw. I have to move this tube, it suctions away the dust. Now I can go ahead and follow the lines. With some medium sandpaper, I'm just going to touch up around these edges, soften the edge, get rid of the fuzzy spots. We're going to use the 1764th drill bit to drill out these spots for the axles. Switching over to the hole saw that's white in color that's kept on the wall. If you decide you want larger wheels or smaller wheels, you can use a different hole saw, but this is the one that we normally use. By the way, it gets mounted clear up. This whole thing goes up into the chuck. You don't want to try to run it just from the little drill bit that's sticking out of there. 
have some material all ready to go. I just need to make four wheels. Somebody used this already, but I think I can get four out of this just fine without wasting any material. The reason I like to have the veneer core plywood for this is that it cuts easier than the MDF. You get less burning. You want to go approximately halfway and then you're going to turn it over and go the other half. That way you won't break it out the other end. To remove that, I'm going to line up these grooves here, put these small screwdrivers in to both sides and just kind of lift slowly. And there's the piece I wanted. I got to make three more of those. And now I'm going to make these all the same size. I use this particular screwdriver. It's been hit a few times on the sander. That's why it doesn't matter. But these will spin. And you want to raise it like this. Check them. That should do it. I hold these pieces together like that. That gives me the approximate length I need for my axles. I want to go just a tad longer. And I need to make two of those. I want to choose the worst side of the wheels to face to the inside. The axle fits these holes and should spin. So I mounted the first axles through those holes in the wheels. I put it through the car. I choose the worst looking side to go down and I press these on. And if they're loose, you'll want to glue them. Anything that's sticking out left over, we can sand out on the sander. If you have any axles sticking out, like this one's doing, we're going to put it against the belt and sand it off. Do that to both sides. And that's it. The car's done. It rolls. And it's ready 